And thank you, sir. He's got three rings, right? And just to clarify, none of those rings are with Connor, right? Is Frazier Minton going to have more points than Sapkowski this year? Frazier Minton sucks at hockey. This guy might not even be an NHLer, so we got to settle down on that one. I laid no. Minus 160 on will they show her holding a drink in her hand. They are two points behind the St. Louis Blues in the wild card, and they are oh, the Blues are dog water. The Blues suck. And the Blues point. are the worst of those four teams <laughs> that I mentioned by a mile. And that's they're my they're point. not a good hockey team. Care, like have some set of balls, have some response, have some pride for what the hell goes on on the ice. It's so absurd. I'm looking forward to the parade, uh, but that's going to be later in the year. See, I'd rather have so money in there than have garbage soda balls. I would rather stack a bunch of garbage that I have in the corner of my room over here than have garbage soda balls in there. He's a- April 11th, welcome back to Edgework presented by Stacks. I'm Zach Phillips, joined here on this Thursday morning to clean things up as we head towards the weekend by Rusty Bill and our guys So Money Sports, breaking all down tonight's games, giving out best bets, previewing everything going on in this weekend, answering questions in the chat there as well. But before we can get into any of that, I just want to remind people that today's show is presented by Stacks. And if you have not signed up already, make sure to sign up for the Stacks Betting Exchange. If you're sick of getting limited and profiled, Stacks is a unique sports betting exchange that offers higher limits and better pricing. Stacks offers a fair and real time marketplace for users to bet on the outcome of sporting events, offering better odds in a peer to peer marketplace. Stacks is the best option for anyone who wants to wager on live sports. Make sure to add Stacks to your list of outs and sign up today. The option is yours at Stack. So head on over there. You can also join the the conversation in the by clicking the link in the description of the show, whether that's on YouTube or podcast. Make sure to head on over there. We do appreciate our friends over at Stacks for supporting us. And as you'll see when we pull up screens here today, a lot of the games we're going to be looking at best price. It'll be available at Stacks. So make sure to check them out. As for last night, two, three, and one on the show. We did. Uh, we did cash a big winner there on the bull duke goal we cashed on the oilers money line we push on the under six in the vegas oilers game that one obviously finishes 5-1 there lose three others we lose the blackhawks team total we lose the bedard goal and we lose the under in the vancouver uh arizona game um before we can even do anything I, i'm gonna give the floor to so money here there was some slander yesterday uh do you have any response do you have anything you want to say before we kick off today's show i will take my time in my response as okay. um as i'm apt to do i'm very um uh, very calculated right so um there's um i will defer comment at this moment and i will at at a point when i'm ready i will i will address the issues that came up yesterday Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I will leave it at that. Uh, Russ, how have you been doing since we last saw you last week? Good. Good. All is well. You know, it's uh, it's tough for me to get too excited about the abs when uh, I know there's so many haters waiting. To, <laughs> once they actually do, uh, do slip up in the playoffs, I'm going to hear it from all angles, <clears throat> just like you with the, with the Leafs and just like uh, so many with the Canucks. But uh, abs are playing well. We got the Masters starting today, so uh, it should be a it should be a great weekend. A good slate of games today, so yeah, all is good, man. I'm just gonna go to sleep every night listening to the uh, to the Masters music. That's gonna be the theme song from today until Sunday, and then Sunday I'll fall, so I'll probably fall asleep to that, and then we'll wait again until next year. But what a time it is! We're heading towards NHL playoffs, heading towards NBA playoffs. If that's your thing as well, NFL draft is coming up, and right here. Right here on Edgework, you're going to be getting more picks, more previews, playoff series breakdowns, as well as Masters going on. So it's a uh, it's a good time to be a sports sports fan, I would say. Let's get into the games here tonight. We'll give out our best bets. If you guys have questions, make sure to send them there in the chat as well. If you guys want to, uh, as well, if you guys have any questions about the games or anything that's going on, if you guys have other games that you're looking at, you want to know about make sure to send them in the chat there and we'll try to answer them throughout the course of the show here today but let's start things off in pittsburgh where the penguins are hosting the detroit red wings here tonight 
Pittsburgh minus 145, the Red Wings uh, plus 133, and we're seeing mostly sixes across the board, kind of in the minus 120 range to the over. You can find a little bit of plus money on the over six and a half out there. But uh, Russ, what's the approach you're taking to this game tonight? Yeah, you know, this should come as no surprise, but we're going to be on the pens again. Uh, I think minus 145 is a great price to to lay. <clears throat> this number has gotten out a little bit ahead of us. Um, you were able to lay closer to minus 140-ish yesterday. <clears throat> but I don't think, you know, I, I, I still think it's a little bit short at minus 145 for, for a couple different reasons. Uh, I really do not like this Red Wings team. We've faded them a couple times over the last week. And uh, it done decently well. You know, it, they have some variance where, you know, some of the time you don't know what to expect. But overall, this team is just not very good. Two and six in their last eight. Um, one and nine in their last 10 on the road. Uh, we've seen a big dip from Alex Lyon, who is confirmed in net for the Red Wings. Um, you know, they're they're just a, a very low to middling team. And on the opposite side, you're getting the Pens team who has just been playing uh, lights out lately. Yeah, so many and I have kind of waited for this Pens team to come around all year. Finally, they have come around and we've been playing on them nonstop over the last couple of weeks. And, uh, and it, we've done very well, you know, four and one in their last five, five and one in their last six games at home. Finally getting some decent goaltending as well. Um, you look at Alex Nijelkovic, who I expect in goal tonight, 19th in goal saved above expectation over the last month. That same metric, Alex Lyon is 43rd in goal saved above expectation over the last month. So everything here is pointing to the pens for me. Um, you know, a team I want to fade in the Red Wings against a team I want to play on in the Pens. I do have this number significantly higher than minus 145. Uh, it is a little bit of a price to lay for us, <clears throat> you know, on this show. And, you know, not extremely accustomed to it, but I I still think minus 145 is a little bit short. I think I would play this all the way up to minus 155 or so. My fair market price is closer to 160, 162 on this. So you're still seeing some value on the pens. Um, so I think that's the way we're going to go for our, our first uh, best bet, pens money line. Pens money line, <clears throat> minus 145. That is pretty widely available there as well. You can find that on some pretty popular books. Um, and Russ, as far as laying the juice and stuff, it's all good. I mean, if, if we remember correctly there, I'm pretty sure when Joey Knish came on, he gave out panthers money line at like minus 250 or something like that and we immediately watched the entire market move against them so that's it's okay it's okay as long as yeah. we're getting at an edge here and as long as it's a it's a good bet we'll bet it um so money you're in a similar position when you're looking at this game tonight yeah yeah i, I like the i like the pens here as well um we like the pens pretty much every game uh it's no secret that both Russ and I are very, very high on this team. Um, I don't know about Russ, uh, but I do have um, I do have futures on the pens as well. So, yeah, we are all Penguins. Um, in terms of the pricing, I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little bit shorter than Russ on the price. I, I, I think he mentioned 160, 162. I'm at about 155, right? So, um, I'm, I'm a little tighter there. Um, Detroit team. They were unlucky in that Washington game. I thought that um, that they probably should have won that game, um, and they played well against um, against Buffalo as well. So it seems like um, they are starting to trend in the right direction. But um, I think playing uh, Buffalo and Washington is um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a little bit different than playing Pittsburgh, right? So um, so so we are getting a step up in class. Of course, the unders there as well. Um, we got a six. It should be a plus money six now. Um, close to that, but it's really, really tough playing Detroit unders. Um, burned on them all season. So um, I'll probably stay away. Um, I do like the <clears throat> I, I do like the Penguins. If they get a little bit cheaper, um, I'll be joining I'll be joining Russ there. But um, for now, I'll pass. But um, I do like the penguins quite a bit sure all right so there you go first bet of the day locked in penguins minus 145 we'll recap everything at the very end of the show here <coughs> excuse me before we get out keep it moving here another game tonight that we've got a best bet in and that would be starting in buffalo where the sabers are hosting the washington capitals the sabers minus 130 here with the capitals plus 119 across a bunch of different books, uh, including there at Stacks, best price available. 
and we're seeing a, a lot of sixes here. All sixes plus money to the over right now. Uh, so, money, what are your thoughts on this game, uh, side and total wise? It's really tough to get um, to get behind Buffalo at this price, right? Um, uh, Washington. Um, we mentioned that they they're they're coming off a lucky win. I think that for the most part, um, their their train has been derailed here. Um, they had a nice nice run to kind of get back into the playoff picture, but I don't think it's sustainable. Um, and we're seeing a dip in their play. Uh, they did lose, um, I believe, six straight games before that Detroit win. Um, and and even in that Detroit game, they weren't. Um, that wasn't a good game for them. So um, Washington is a team that I do believe is on the decline. But um, you got to look at the price, though, right? And and that's been factored into them into the number because you look at the price that you're expected to fade Washington at, and that means that. If you're doing that, you're betting Buffalo. You're betting Buffalo in the minus, minus mid one, mid mid one thirties, right? And that's um, that's really tough to get there. So definitely not a play on Buffalo, even though Washington is struggling. Um, I think that there is some value on Washington just based on the price because that's not a number that you want to lay on Buffalo, right? So I do like the under here. Um, I think that. What we're seeing is um, a lot of these games they are getting tighter, especially with teams um, battling for the for for the playoff spot. So um, I did go ahead and play the under. I like it up to minus one twenty on the six. Um, so that's where I'm at right now. I do lean um, I do lean Washington just based on the price, but I can't get there based on their play. Um, I think the under makes a lot of sense here, though. Do you want to lock this in here? Some money in the under, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, under six minus 115. We see 115s. So There's some minus 116s out there as well, kind of pushing out to the minus 120 range. Yes, sir. My, up to minus 115 is good. All right, there you go. We'll lock that one in. Uh, another best bet. And Russ, so money said he couldn't quite get there on the Capitals money line. Uh, are you able to tonight? Yeah, it's it's certainly moving a little bit in that direction, but there still is that minus one nineteen ish, minus one twenty at uh, at Pinnacle, and yeah, I think that's a great number to play on the Caps here. So money nailed it. You know, it's a uh, it's a Washington team who's sort of been struggling lately um, against a Buffalo team who has really nothing to play for, and um, this just comes down to price for me. It should be probably closer to minus one ten ish both ways. I think these teams are fairly similar in the way they want to play and um, in their underlying metrics are very similar. One of the biggest differences or one of the biggest edges I have here for the Caps is uh, is in that uh, Charlie Lindgren has just been lights out over the last few weeks, over the last month or so, 23rd in goal saved above expectation. And uh, if you look at the last two weeks, he's up to 15th in goal saved above expectation. So I want to back the uh, the hot goaltender here. And I, I want to back the team that uh, has something to play for. You know, Buffalo's all but eliminated from the playoffs where there is still a glimmer of hope for the uh, for the Caps here. You know, they, they would have to have to, you know, string some wins together. But I do think it starts tonight. And uh, as so many said, I, I really like the under here as well. This Sabres team has been a an under team pretty much all year. I think you're going to get a really low event, really tight game. Honestly, could see it going to overtime. Again, that's why, you know, I want to back the better goaltender. But a 2-1 game, a 3-2 game would not surprise me. I expect this to be a very, very close game. Um, you know, and that being said, I'll take the plus 120 pretty much every time. So, I like uh, I like Washington here, and I like the under. Let's let's get a two one Caps victory. And there you go, two one Caps victory <laughs> is ideal for us here tonight. Three best bets locked in so far. We'll keep going. Uh, we'll keep going through the games tonight. And again, if you do have games that you want covered, send them in the chat. There, we'll try to get to them as well. Uh, next up here, we got the Dallas Stars hosting the Winnipeg Jets. Dallas minus one forty. The Jets plus 133 and we're seeing basically five and a halves some sixes out there as well but basically five and a halves here yet again so money uh what are your thoughts on this game here tonight and do you have any interest from a betting perspective i mean we're we're continuing our fate on the jets right like it, it hasn't um we did bet the jets last game so to be fair it's not a it's not a complete fair um it's it's it's, it's not a complete fade um can we um 
sorry to do this. Can, can we go to the Ottawa Tampa Bay game? Um, there's um, there's the goaltending change there, and I want to lock in that over. Yeah. Um, I I just bet it. Um, and we can get it up to minus one twenty. I think we should go ahead and do that. Um, Vasilevsky's not starting. Um, and and this is strictly a play on um, on um, on the on the Tampa Bay goaltending. So up to minus one twenty. I think we're good on the over there. Okay, there you go. Uh, we'll lock that in. Quick one there. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any other explanation in this one? We'll go to you for this, and then we can go to Russ for the Dallas game. Yeah, yeah. So sorry about that. Um, yeah. So um, basically, it's 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 about the goaltending. Um, um, <clears throat> Matt. Um, Matt Russell on um, on Tuesday we 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 talked about Vasilevsky a bit and like um, he has struggled but at the same time um, he is significantly better than their other options even even a even a struggling Vasilevsky or I shouldn't say struggling but a Vasilevsky who is not at his hundred percent capacity um, is still significantly better um, Ottawa. Ottawa is just they're a loose team right um and there's there's a slight edge when um you have you, you already have a juice six and a half um and I always ask this right so like um if you have a juice six and a half and you're betting the over right um where's that edge coming from so for me that edge is coming from um the change in goaltending uh, because even though um even though Vasilevsky um is not up to his full capacity. Um, he's still it's it's still a significant downgrade to like Tompkins, right? So um, that's so so that's the reason why um, we are on the over and the market's moving as well. So I just wanted to um, wanted to wanted to get that in there. Um, he is in the starters net. Looks like he may be able to start the game. Yeah. So um, yeah, I just want to get that out there. This is this is strictly goaltending. Um, there's the there's the the there's the edge there against the team that in Ottawa that just um that that likes to play it loose. All right, there you go. That's why you got to be watching live. I uh, bets mm-hmm. pop up and we grab them in real time here that maybe aren't going to be available after the fact. So you need to be watching the show every day, Monday through Friday, ten thirty a.m. Eastern time, so that when these things pop up and so money tells us actually no, we need to leave this game and go to the Ottawa game quickly. You can also head on over there and get those bets yourself. So lock that one in over six and a half minus one fifteen. Um, for us, we'll, we'll go to you for the Dallas Winnipeg game, but I mean, I guess quickly, just in conclusion on uh, Ottawa Tampa, do you have any thoughts yourself there? Yeah, I agree. You know, I was, I was looking, uh, <clears throat> looking for that confirmation, you know, all morning, and that's certainly the way I lean. I kind of priced out both goalies, and uh, with Tompkins and Net, I do have well over seven here, so um, I played that as well before it moves. Uh, like somebody said, it probably is going to drift all the way up to minus one twenty-five, or even a flat seven, or or a, a juice seven to the under. So I would play that right now if you are if you are listening. But you know I concur with everything you said. It's a it's a goaltender play. No stranger to uh, sends overs, even though they burned us the last couple of weeks. <clears throat> but yeah, you're getting two really really bad goaltenders here. All right, well, let's go to you to the for the Dallas Winnipeg game. We teased it a little bit and then jumped away quickly. <clears throat> we do see Dallas minus 140, the Jets plus 136, and five and a half in that minus 115, minus 120 range, pushing out a little bit. We see some sixes at plus money out there as well. What's, uh, what's your interest in this game tonight, Russ? Yeah, I think uh, locking the stars here at minus 145. <clears throat> similar, to, uh, similar to the Pens game, I think this is a little bit short. Um, this Dallas team has just playing, just been playing absolutely awesome. Playing, uh, you know, like a uh, like a Stanley Cup contender the last uh, couple months, and um, I have them actually quite a bit higher in my power rankings than the Jets. You're talking about a Dallas team who's top five in basically every metric against the Jets team who uh, has a couple of issues, a little bit leaky defensively, 13th in expected goals against. Um, they are getting some very, very good goaltending, the Jets. I mean, Hellebuck has been playing very, very well. But he just faced um, like 50 shots the other night against the Preds. Who knows, you know, how uh, how he's going to – how tired he's going to be. And Andre's starting to, to come along. He's starting to uh, get back into his old form. And uh, looking at the two over the last month, they're not that far away in goal saved above expectation. And um, the Jets really don't play Dallas very well. Two and seven in their last nine against the Stars. 
Um, as I said, the Stars are just rolling. 10-1 in their last 11, 5-0 and in their last five at home. Uh, take into account that I have the uh, Stars power rated higher, um, you know, a handful of percentage points higher, plus home field advantage, home ice advantage for the Stars. And I get to a number that's just above uh, 145 or 140-ish here is what we locked in. So I think that 140 is a great price. Probably play it again up to 150 or 155, just like the Pens game. Um, so, yeah, all that being said, we're going to take the better team here and uh, continue a small fade on the Jets and uh, go with the Stars at home. So, Money, you would concur with this uh, pick that Russ has given out here in this Dallas game? Yeah, yeah. I think um, Stars, we can um, – I'll, I'll, I'll make that a double best bet as well. Um, we can uh, can lock that in. Um, Jets, we we were fading them quite a bit this season. Um, they did um, – they did burn us earlier in the season, but uh, they started playing up to or down to what we what we kind of expected from them. Um, they have one four straight, right? Um, there's um, Calgary and Minnesota in there in those four games, um, and also a win in Nashville, which we did cash on, but we were very very lucky to win that game. I thought that Winnipeg was uh, thoroughly outplayed. Um, Halibut had a very strong game, and I mean that's 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 part of hockey, right? There's uh, there's tons of times when um, we lose when we're supposed to win as well. So I think it's important to keep those things in context. Um, Winnipeg should have lost that game, and they won. Um, so it's not as if they've um, they've they've significantly improved their play as well. Dallas, on the other hand, um, you you throw in the Chicago game in there, and I mean that 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 kind of stuff happens, but. They are set to clinch the Central Division. Uh, we're set to cash our Central Division tickets, um, which is very exciting around these parts. So um, I do like Dallas, um, and um, they've just been playing very well. Um, um, step, big, big step up in cluster for the Jets, who I believe, similar to the Oilers game that we had against Colorado last last week, I believe that the Jets are going to be walking into a bus saw here in Dallas tonight. There you go. Uh, that's four bets that are given out for us here today. We did go through, uh, actually, I guess, five bets that were given out for us here today. We did go through a few different games and a bunch of best bets, everyone agreeing with each other. But before we can wrap things up, before we finish up today's show, Russ, are there any th other games out there that you were kind of looking at, maybe eyeing today, uh, just didn't have ahead of the show, but you're interested in? Uh, uh, you're interested in that maybe will pop up throughout the day or you're waiting for injury news? Not necessarily. Um, I, <clears throat> you know, I think I, the one I was looking at was that sends lightning over. Um, happy to get that locked in because I completely agree with that play. I had that kind of circled if, uh, if we got Tompkins in net. Um, other than that, you know, I think everything is, is pretty fairly priced. Um, you know, I, I was kind of looking forward to bet on the Leafs here, but they opened that at, at right around, you know, minus 190-ish, which I think is probably the right play. I, I thought that would be considerably lower than that when they opened it, but I do think they could take care of business again tonight against the Devils team who's kind of reeling. But, again, the price is right around market. Um, so, honestly, I, I, that's about it for me. That's, uh, you know, four or five plays. I think that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good card. Pretty good card there, I, I would agree. And uh, so, money, is there anything else that you are looking at today? Not quite there, or maybe even games that you just want to watch tonight? Yeah, let's um, let's lock in one more. I uh, just um, just came up here for me. It's the Flames and Kings under, um, under six there. <clears throat> Excuse me, Kings. Um, Kings are back to playing um, playoff hockey. Um, they went through a little bit of a stretch there where. Um, <clears throat> Predominantly due to goaltending, they weren't getting the goaltending, but um, they're getting the average goaltending that they need for them to play the style that they need to play. Um, Calgary, on the other hand, yes, they have nothing to play for, um, but that's not a team that's playing that's playing loose hockey either. One concern I have for this game is that Calgary has been um, has been generating chances lately. Um, so it looks like that they may be close to breaking out. But in this game, they're playing a team in the Kings that um, pretty much just wants to choke out every game right now. So um, we are we are going to go ahead and lock in the under six. 
um, in the Flames game here. Under six minus 114, we'll add. Um, we always encourage people in the chat to continue to ask questions, especially about games if they, they're interested in or we haven't covered or anything like that. There's one that popped up here, a guy, uh, Kula, asking, nothing on the Panthers. So taking a look over at the Panthers Blue Jackets game, we're seeing Florida minus 400 here tonight. Uh, I don't know if they were asking, isn't it? Joking way or not, but regardless, we'll go to the game. Panthers minus 400, Blue Jackets plus 351, six and a half right across the board here. We're seeing oh, uh, plus money on the over for everyone. Russ, you're not laying minus 400. You you went with the <laughs> minus 140s today. <laughs> minus 400 doesn't no. interest you. Um, I was I was kind of looking at this game. I think the Panthers should should absolutely dominate this game. Um, there was some uh, puck line minus one and a half around minus one thirty yesterday and minus one thirty overnight. As you can see, those are uh, completely gone. So you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lay minus one fifty or minus one sixty on the puck line. But I, I do think you know the the Panthers should uh, honestly win this game going away. It, it, you could. Uh, you know, probably not getting much of a price anymore, but, it, you know, they could easily win this game by three goals or more. Um, but, no, it's a, it's moved into into exactly what, you know, where I thought it should be. So, uh, so no, no play for me here. Uh, so, Money, and nothing for you here. You're not laying this minus 400. Yeah, not for me. Let's uh, let's call let's call Kanish live and see if he's got <laughs> yeah. anything on this game. But, uh, yeah, I got – I I got nothing here. I mean, it's minus four hundred, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Like, what are yeah. you gonna do there? <laughs> uh, the only way we get involved in this one is uh, well, I guess there's there's two ways. Um, one would be that we see a photo of this man starting in net oh, for wow. the Panthers tonight. <laughs> <laughs> these, uh, these, <laughs> these 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 photoshops are just wild now, man. There's yeah, there's, that's that's amazing. This is our friend Bordalusi. <laughs> Credits to him uh, sending these over and tweeting these out. A good follow as well. But yeah, like these... you said, he would be better. It'd be better than Soderblom, probably. <laughs> yeah. So I saw that. Uh, the other way would be if we find out that uh, that Alber has laid minus four hundred. If Alber lays minus four hundred. Everyone turn your tweet notifications on because we might be doing a late show bet and have Columbus uh, on the other side. That'll be our, our big plus money winner of the day. But uh, that's our two ways of getting involved there. That'll do it for today's show. We appreciate everyone who tuned in. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, subscribe here to the channel, turn on notifications. So money, you got something else for us? Yeah, there was a question in the chat about the um, Oilers, um, about talking about the Oilers uh, division. Um yeah, it's a, it's oh, yeah. it's 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 a very very live ticket right now. Um, I think that um, it's all set up for the Canucks to kind of. I, I I really I really have a tough time seeing collapse, um, because um, but I mean, what else can you say, right? That uh, they are, <laughs> they are kind of collapsing here um, for the for the division at least. Um, that was a game against Arizona, and we're seeing we're seeing a bunch of those. I was worried about the game last night. Um, this team is having trouble um, kind of putting it away, and the problem is like what really what really bugged me or kind of irked me about that game yesterday is that um, they win that game um, with with Demko in net, right? So that 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 strictly came down to goaltending. So. Um, right. In terms of long-term kind of prognosis of this team, there's we don't want to panic yet. Um, it is concerning that this is essentially um, we're essentially in the midst of a collapse. Um, but there's other elements in play here, namely Demko's injury. So it's not time to panic long-term. Um, even if the Canucks um, finish um, finish well, even if they don't win the division. Um, we could still play Vegas, right? And um, like how I've been saying is that we're okay with Vegas. We're not okay with the Kings. So um, let's see how things play out. Uh, four four points up. Oilers have two in hand, including a head-to-head -head against the Canucks as well, which is going to be a very very big game. So it doesn't look it doesn't look great, um, but um, there's no need to panic long term right now.
well, whether it's you playing Vegas, whether it's the Oilers playing Vegas, it doesn't really matter because we're going to be breaking it all down right here on the Edgework channel of, uh, next week once all those lines start coming out, once we get into some of the matchups, the the prices, all of that, we'll be breaking it down right here on this show. You'll see videos come out just like we did last year. So if you're looking for series bets, if you're looking for unique ways to approach things, or you're just looking for predictions, well, I mean, even on top of that, if you're looking for predictions and someone to fade, then you can find Albers picks coming out on those as well. But that you can find all here on the Edgework channel. So make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. We appreciate the support. Uh, let's get to let's recap the picks that we've given out today because we ended up giving out a bunch here for today's show. So starting with the Tampa, uh, Tampa, Ottawa over six and a half at minus one fifteen. We're also going to take the Penguins money line against the Red Wings minus 145. We're going to go with the Capitals money line against the Sabres plus 119. The uh, the oh, uh, under, excuse me, sorry, uh, under six minus 115 in that game as well. We're going to take Dallas money line minus 140. And finally, we're going to go with the Flames Kings under six minus 114. That'll do it for today's show. We appreciate everyone who tuned in here today, everyone who watched. So, Money, Russ, thank you guys for taking the time to do this. Slight schedule change for tomorrow. So, Money, not on the Friday show tomorrow. We're going to have Alex Moretto and Alex B. Smith tomorrow teamed up to close out the week. So, make sure you're here for that. Subscribe, turn on notifications. You don't want to miss these shows. We'll be back tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Thanks, everyone who tuned in here today. Enjoy the games tonight, and good luck in your bets.